Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Judge Morally Ambiguous Pump House We've had a few days off because we've been sick as a dog We haven't uploaded anything in over a week We caught a cold So what we're going to do is we're going to write into the story of this little playthrough That uh, after the mob beat up Judge Pump House He was in hospital so he's going back to the bench, he's going back to work today and instead of playing survival mode we'll play fiction mode which I guess is the story mode so we had a little, nice little warm up on on the survival mode there let's go for the fiction mode and, and, and check out mate, you know see what we can do <coughs> you know the mob beat him up but Judge Pump House is a resilient one Oh. I am here. Do you hear me? I gave you the best I could. Why did you disown me? I have your blood in my veins. How could you? Do I mean nothing to you? Nothing spoils the moment like the fan of the computer. Why did you being so heavy, huh? He was nothing. That's right. If anyone views it and doesn't like the fan, just she's an old girl, but she's been loyal. People will follow in my footsteps. So we're not going to get rid of her too, too yet. Uh, yeah, uh, quite just yet. I've had her for years. Besides, we haven't got the money to replace her. <coughs> the computer, that is. So, there we go. Turn of the 18th century in France. Okay, the prologue. Some lovely French classical architecture there. Lovely. Obviously had a heavy night out. Raymond Devoye. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this cloudy rot gut. Remind me before I drink it. We're disgracing Themis. Ha. Huh. Is someone coming? Matilda Fidel. This was bound to happen. Bernard Fidel, I told you. Frederick Fidel, Papa, you said we sh we would go. You promised. And then Mr. Devoye, Papa had a lot of work. Yes, a lot of heavy glasses. You promised me. I can't anymore. I'm fed up with asking. Mama is angry because and then Bern Bernard says quiet. Today, your favourite son. I have favourites? Okay. Wanted to prove he was more honourable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake. Well, boys will fight, madam. Our neighbours wanted to you to explain to them, but, well, we're fighting for justice at an inn, damn you bloody drunk okay okay so these two must be my sons <coughs> I 
Okay. A five-year-old boy on trial. What could go wrong? Sure. Yep. We know how to do this. No need to give us... Uh, No, 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 to get in it. Yeah, okay. Global modifiers. Yep. Sure. Case file. To judge Alexis Fidel. We have not expected this kind of behaviour from your son, although apparently we should have. Innocent child's play turned into an assault on our children. The younger one, Antoine, now has a chipped front tooth. Ah, oh, he chipped his tooth. That's alright. It's a baby tooth. It'll fall out. We hope that you will punish your child accordingly. Should you, the situation repeat itself, we will react more decisively. I am sure we can deal with a gambler and a drunkard, even if he is a judge. We will not let our children be hurt. Well, Madam, it's a baby tooth. It'll grow back. Okay, what have we got? The news. Let's read the newspaper. Okay. Your addictions are no longer a secret. The fact that other children are bullying your son because of them is a minor problem. But who is spreading those rumours? It is likely to be one of their parents. They could have whispered into their children's ears whom they shouldn't play with and why. As it happens, they might even have spiced the story up with a lie. But who will hear it next? Hmm. Okay, so we've got three influence points, so we could use some of them if, if needs be. <laughs> Okay, boy, what do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, well, unlock questions, sure. Yeah, relations, reputation, we know all this. Let's unlock some questions, shall we? Finding the links. Number of traps. In some cases, may contain traps, huh? Lines of inquiry that are irrelevant. Okay. Well. Antoine was the victim here. Or was he? Well, fighting children is the course of events. There we go. <coughs> Antoine is injured. Well. Here's the victim. Child's play. Possibility of repeating. Well, the course of events was obviously child's play. And the chip tooth is obviously the outcome for the victim. So, okay. How did your play turn into a fight? That is, that is, uh, that is a fair question. Our neighbours Antoine and Jean, or Jean, they were saying some mean things about you. We were playing guards and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know. You were fighting both of them at once? I had to. What exactly were they saying? <laughs> Are you too drunk to guess? Well, I'm asking him. He 
you can't. They were learning that you're well, I told them that's not true and they started calling me names. They called me a drunkard son. Well, it's a burden. Who started the fight? Okay, you started the fight. I kicked the one on the left and the one on the right. And the part that they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Okay, well, an eye for an eye, you know. You don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. Well, I mean, you. If Well, um, we'll do the verdict, verdict form, shall we? I mean, he is. I mean, he doesn't know. Fuck it. No, I mean, they called him a drunken son, he got upset. He's a boy, the tooth will grow back. Let's not. Let's not make a big deal out of it. You did well. A man has a right to defend his honour and his family, no matter what. That's that. That's a fair. That's a fair judgment. I think. Those children are so small, and they already know the truth. The father of my children. He's a lying drunk and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you, but he soon grew up. Now it is Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the streets. And you, Raymond, you're supposed to be my husband's mentor. Is that what you wanted to teach him? How to repeat your mistakes and lose his family? Mr. Devoyer, wow. I was unaware that Mat Matilda had such a temper. Well, it looks like she does. Wait outside as always. See you outside then. Ah, uh, Paris. Paris. <coughs> Liberté! We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. We could not resist it. Whole families took to the streets. Wow. Franz was never so happy. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. Whew. Tough gig. Act one. Liberté. Day one. Well, that was a fair prologue. See you in the courtroom on the next uh, on the next round, I guess. I've been. Dave, aka Judge Morally Ambiguous Pump House. And let's play this one right, shall we?